A lot of people who went through P90X felt like, oh wow, look who I am now, I've gotten really fit. And a lot of people did P90X two, three, four, five, fifteen times. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of those folks all made their way over to CrossFit. Is CrossFit stupid? For some people it saves their life. For some people it's amazing and incredible in the community and all of that's great. But a lot of people end up getting hurt because they're just overdoing it a little bit, you know. Ramsey Hunt syndrome. It affects your vision, your smell, your taste, and your balance. It's like vertigo, because vertigo's this. This is this inside the brain all the time. So if I tried to look right, I'd have to go that way and then I then I have to go super slow because if I went like this it would just the shakiness and the nausea would just kick in and then wham you know Do you feel that P90X was kind of the precursor to CrossFit absolutely was I didn't mean it to be but that's what happened a lot of people who went through P90X felt like oh wow look who I am now I've gotten really fit and a lot of people did P90X two, three, four, five, fifteen 15 times. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of those folks all made their way over to CrossFit. And the bummer about CrossFit for a lot of folks is they started getting hurt. Is CrossFit stupid? For some people, it saves their life. For some people, it's amazing and incredible in the community and all of that's great. But a lot of people end up getting hurt because they're just overdoing it a little bit, you know? You, do you flip a tire? Is that your thing? I've, not my thing. I don't have a tire. I don't flip tires. But when I took a class, here I am flipping tires, so... Where did he, where, where do they get all these old tractor tires from, huh? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. so you I ever guess. got inside of a, a tire and rolled down a hill? <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about a rush. That, have you? You've yeah. done it on oh. your show. Well, no, I've, I've been in tubes before and went rolling down a hill as a kid. That was so much fun. What about the shake weight? Did you ever try it? Nope. Never, you never, tr you never, never touched never one? Never didn't seem silly to me. Oh, man, you could mime that thing perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> I just did. <laughs> Dumber, dumber exercise, the shake wake or the thigh master? I was in the thigh master commercial. That was one of my first The original jobs. ones? The original one. Oh, wow. Yeah. Where do you feel, how do you feel about steroids? It's, it's, it's just trouble. The future is going to be a problem if, if you're going to be doing that. You what about what I mean? Venice Help. Beach in the 80s when you saw Muscle Beach? Like, you saw everything. Yeah, then. it was all going down. And still, they're still being abused today. You sure. Know? It's all about ego and, and looks. And, and, you know, when you exercise, it's norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, something called brain-derived neurotropic factor, BDNF, which gets released out of the temporal lobe of your brain. And when I read this book, Spark, by Dr. John Rady years ago, I was like, this is why I should be working out now. Not because of all the, not because I'm chasing girls or trying to have big arms or any of that silliness. The chasing girls part, that, that, see, that's where I always, I always. Yeah, but they, they didn't care about that. They cared about. No, no. You were funny. You were smart. That's Ex why, you know. Exactly. That's where I wanted to be with you. The reason I never worked out was because the women that I was attracted to, I could get. If I couldn't get them, if they were like, no, you're not strong enough to date me, I would have gotten stronger. Oh, wow. Do you know what I'm saying? But then again, I'm thinking back in the day, it was easy for you. Not easy. You're, you're a handsome guy. Sure. You're a funny I'm not guy. ugly. I'm mm. not ugly, but I'm not, I, I. Uh, but it's, you know, women just, they want a personality. They want somebody who's got a reason for being on this earth. They're, you know what I mean? You know what it is? I'll tell you physically. I mean, in LA, I, it's a little different. I'm tall. Yeah, tall's good. Tall, tall offsets m muscles on some level. Tall's good. And I'm, not, I'm only medium height. Five, well, five. We, we call that short in the tall world. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have muscles, because I'm only 5'10". Five, 5'9". Five, I'm 5'10". All right, I used Jesus. to be 5'10 and, and a half, a, but I've, I've lost a half an inch. Oh, isn't that weird how that yeah, happens? Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. I, am not, I don't think I'm starting to shrink yet, but uh, I, I look forward to it. What's your best current health and fitness advice? Consistency is really, I mean, there's a lot of them, but consistency is everything, man. You know, the more you do, the better you get, right? The less you do, the more complicated it is, the more frustrated you'll be. So if you're going to, you know, if you really want to be fit and healthy, you got to, it's got to be constant. You know, like people say, hey, man, how often? And I say all the time, mm -hmm. all the time, like breathing and eating and paying your bills and going to work all the time because everybody else is just surviving doing the basics, but anybody else who's training on a regular basis, they get to have a much more interesting life. They, like my wife and I went to Italy and we got on a bike tour and, for four and a half hours and we did the same thing in-, in Oh, so she's into it too. Not as much as me, no. I would have loved it if you're like, no, no, she's morbidly obese. She's just <laughs> happy as can well, be. I'll say it if you like. Just but... happy as can be. Yeah. No. She's huge. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but she's into fitness too then. Uh, not as much as me. Well, if I don't work out though, is there any reason to start if you're saying like, oh, you, it has to be constant because constant seems so overwhelming to me that it, I'm like, well, then I'm to, not going to start. five to six days a week, something. What do you think about taking a walk with your dog? That's great. Yeah, it's not good a, enough. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, sure it is. <laughs> How's that gym on the beach? Is it just complete garbage? It's the right thing for the right people who do it. But I, I just, it's not, you know, lifting heavy weights, li- r- uh, rusty old. They're so rusty. Sand filled weights. And those guys, a lot of those guys are using the roids. And, and then, then a, the it's smell it's a, of the it's homeless. A sh- it's, a, it's a funky down there. Yeah. What did you think about Venice during the pandemic? That was sad, wasn't it? I don't even know what happened. What happened? I mean, it was just it's just a shell of itself, right? Of especially what you saw. Yeah, I mean, I I haven't been down there in I bet you twenty years. Oh, I haven't been down there in twenty years. Right. When I first moved here, I was in Santa Monica and Venice all the time. Right. I was at the beach all the time for twenty one years. Such a novelty having grown up in the, on the East Coast. I always think it's weird when people uh, move to California, at, but don't move all the way. You what know what I'm mean? saying? Like, oh, we're going to live in, uh, uh, what's the hipster area? Silver Lake. Like, like what the, ugh. You're, you're moving out west. Go all the way. Get right. to the water. Yeah. I'm a beach person. Yeah. Oh, so you, st- oh, well. I've surfed my whole life. That's all I care that about. That explains that, yeah. Nah. Yeah, yeah. Don't touch the board. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your favorite favorite surf spot? Um, I won't tell you. Um. Do you go to, do you go to like Hanalei Bay and do it there? Or? No, I don't like to travel for surfing. Oh, I, I like to be near here. my house. Yeah. I just, that's what so I like. So you're a Mal- so, Malibu guy. Yeah, I don't like traveling. Yeah. It's like too much. Have you, have you ever had Laird Hamilton on your show? Yeah, I surf with Laird every day. Oh, no I've shit. never had him on my show, though. I, I don't know him well. I know I know Gabby a little bit better than, than Laird. Anyway, what did you do? You worked out with him? Yeah, they have an Olympic-sized pool, and they do a lot of underwater with dumbbells and breathing, and it's intense. It's a little bit scary. Is intense. it just underwater because you're not tall? Ah, oh, <laughs> Damn. Well, <laughs> there's a sh- there's a low end uh-huh. and a high and a deep end. You would be you wouldn't be tall enough in the deep end is, either. Is every is every side a deep end? <laughs> Damn, dude, I'm five ten. I'm not five one. No, you're not. come on. You're you're you're. I think technically the average height of men in this five country eight. is five eight. Ah, oh, you're right. If yeah, don't two, think a guy don't, five ten doesn't know that. Yeah, we if, we're, if we don't need to look it up, we know it's five eight. <laughs> That's right. Oh, hey, I want to talk about your disease. Oh gosh, yeah, Ramsey Hunt. Type two severe, what was it? Uh, Ramsey Hunt syndrome. It affects your vision, your smell, your taste, and your balance. It's like vertigo, because vertigo is this. This is this inside your brain all the time. So if I tried to look right, I'd have to go that way. And then I'd, then I'd have to go super slow, because if I went like this, it would just, the, the shakiness and the nausea would just kick in and then blam, you know? How I've, did you get it? How do you get stress? This pure. If you have a chicken pox, chicken pox virus in your body, Mm -hmm. and you get you, it's shingles. It's shingles in your ear. Mm. So you you can get shingles. My mom's had shingles. Man, she complains about it. Brutal. So it's burning. All it's burning all the time. It's like lighters on your skin the whole time. I had this whole ear was just open, pussy, awful sores, and it affected the fifth, sixth, and seventh cranial nerves that affect your sight and your smell and your taste and your balance. So it was going into my brain. Um, and so nerves are weird. They'll take their good time to, to heal or not. A lot of people, I had Bell's palsy for a while, which is a great look for, uh, for an on-camera guy. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and mine went away, but a lot of people's don't. Justin Bieber's is still around a little bit if you, if you look at him. Okay, but so he definitely had it. Yeah, he definitely had it. Right. And also uh, Feinstein, had- uh, Senator Feinstein. She did P90X. She did not. No. No. <laughs> but the Obamas did. The Obamas did? The Obamas did. Well, of course yeah. they did. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Michelle looks, looks like a definite after photo. How old right now are you going to live? I The number I use, you're probably going to give me some shit for, but I, I I think maybe 109. Huh. But if I, if I, if I, I mean, look, I feel better at 65 than I did at 55 or 45 or 35. Because I keep making little adjustments with my diet and my mindfulness and my breathing techniques and my hydration and my supplementation and my electrolytes and my foam rolling and my and, and all my you know cold plunges. I'm always you know I'm always you're doing all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm open to trying things that make me feel better and function better. If I was gonna guess how long you were gonna live, you said 109. I'm pr- probably late 80s or early 90s. Uh, my guess is 66. <laughs> Wow. No. Well, I, uh, I, got, I got things to do. Well, hello, it's Tony Horton. How are you? You know, I'm glad that you've really enjoyed this interview. I can tell because you're watching it, because I can see you. Anyway, since you're here, I know you're really going to fall madly in love with this next one. I mean, I'm talking about knowledge consumed by you. All you got to do 
is go right over there. Mm -hmm. 